Greetings to you in the mighty and supreme name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today's Bible meditation portion is taken from Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 through 20. Let's meditate on verses 13 and 14. He has saved us from the kingdom of darkness. He has brought us into the kingdom of the Son He loves. Because of what the Son has done, we have been set free. Because of Him, all our sins have been forgiven. This portion is emphasizing on our redemption and forgiveness. What is forgiveness? The simple meaning is sent away, sent away free. How about redemption? Redeem was used during old Jewish times when someone purchased a slave to set him or her free. So purchased to set free. Jesus Christ rescued us from the kingdom of darkness, purchased our freedom with his blood and forgave our sins. So you and I are set free. His grace is all we need in our lives. Three points to focus on from this portion. As Christians, we are rescued from darkness. Second one, and relocated or transferred to the kingdom of Jesus. Third point, and then we are redeemed by the King. In the first part of verse 13, He has saved us from the kingdom of darkness. In Ephesians 6, 12 says, For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. The realm of sin, Satan, and darkness are the worst of the worst. Remember, if you choose to stay in that path, it becomes eternal. It does not end even after death. But Jesus rescued us from that eternal hell when we called upon Him and accepted Him as our Savior. Many times when our, in our lives, when something did not work out the way we wanted, even though we prayed about it, we usually have this question, is God not happy with me? Or did I do something bad that God did not like? These thoughts of doubts in us are because we are trying to have a banking relationship with God. Something like, if you give me this, I will light five candles in church or I will fast for 14 days. But remind ourselves, God's plan for us is in bigger things. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So just trust in Him, for Jesus has rescued us from the darkness and evil. Coming to the second point, relocated or transferred to the kingdom of Jesus. Second Peter 1.11 says, Then God will give you a grand entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As Christians, God freely relocated us to something better. The kingdom of Jesus is eternal too, but it's the best of the best. God is the center of everything. Praise, worship, and joy is never-ending. Everything we see in this world will change. The only thing that will not change is the love of Christ. The third point, as Christians, we are redeemed by our King. Punishment for our sin is already paid on the cross by our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 1.7 says, he is so rich in kindness and grace that He purchased our freedom with the blood of His Son and forgave our sins. The greatest verse of all, 2 Corinthians 5.21 For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering of our sin, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Our sins are taken away and the righteousness of Christ is put on us because of Jesus' blood on the cross. We are not worthy, 
we did not do anything to deserve this but because of the love and the grace of jesus he bought, bought us with his blood gave us hope for the future and victory from sin the penalty of sin has been completely removed because of his perfect sacrifice on the cross let's live our life with hope thankfulness humbleness steadfast in our strong faith let's speak about jesus and his love for us and spread the word of god to those who don't know christ let's pray heavenly father may i never forget the tremendous and terrible price that it cost you to redeem me to yourself know that you were you were wounded for my transgressions bruised for my iniquities died on the cross so that i might be forgiven of my sins and you rose again to give me your resurrected life i humbly kneel before you in praise and gratefulness help me to understand more of your word and to develop a simple childlike faith that is so pleasing to you in jesus name i pray amen